Hi, so I'd like to show you how I use Zotoro for a quick referencing for writing a paper. This is the Zotoro desktop app. And here's a paper that I found. I'm in the PDF view now that I'm kind of interested in. And so I just click on here. It says save to Zotoro web page with snapshot. And sometimes I have to refresh it because it doesn't respond. If I reboot Chrome, this actually usually works better, but I have so many tabs open. And it now allows me to input the data. So Zotoro grabs both the metadata and the PDFs. Sometimes even if you're in the view of the article and not in the PDF view, you'll still get the PDF grabbed. And here it is. And another cool thing I really like about it is that I can add a note. So say I already read this paper, which I haven't, and I want to write a note. I can write a new standalone note, or I can add a child note. In this case, I want to add a child note to this paper that I'm looking at in particular because I want to take notes on this paper. And I can say um, the importance of the earnest. And this can be something that I want to know about this paper. Or I can also use this part to record uh, page 34 in my research notebook, which is where I wrote my notes. Alternatively, I can also make a note of, say I have recorded notes in my Evernotes, then I could paste the Evernote link in here. So it's very versatile, and it's really great for doing that. In addition, I can also add tags, but I haven't really invested in doing tags a lot because of the diversity of what I'm trying to deal with. And so mostly, moving that to the trash, Mostly, I just currently use the folders and have a hierarchy of folders that I look at. And the search function is really quite good. So if I want to look for something about bullying, I can immediately find these. But you have to notice that everything I find now in bullying are all within this folder, early adolescence. If I want to find uh, articles on bullying that are not in early adolescence according to my the way I filed it, I would have to go to my library and look for it and see we have much more articles on bullying. Another thing is that when we are looking at uh, downloading the metadata, okay, let's go here. Say I'm going to put this one in. Oh, Got to reload that again. You, by default, save into the folder that you have open last time you looked at Sotoro, which was my library. And you can change this here by clicking on more. And you can immediately display all of your folders and put them in the rightful place. So I'm just going to put them in my library now. When I put them in my library, uh, my library shows all of the papers that are available here. It will automatically show up as the last item 
in my unfiled papers folder. So this allows me to, basically this is a huge to-do list that I have to file into their correct folders. And that's it. This is why I really like Sotoro. Oh, second thing. The word reference system is really easy to use. I haven't tried uh, the other one that they use. I forgot its name. Uh, but I have downloaded the word references system. And so I can just click here. And here, this will show me. Let me turn it around. This will show me Zotoro in the bar. After you download it, you have to reload your word. And then you can add your citation. I'm not going to add my citation now. But let's do a demonstration. And here. So I can obviously see that this document has not had uh, enough metadata put in here. I think this was when I first started using Zotoro and I didn't know of the metadata download option. And so some things were entered by hand. But there is also the possibility that you will get documents that don't have sufficient metadata. So you will always have to check your references anyway. And that's it.